Good afternoon, esteemed faculty, colleagues, family, and friends. And thank you all for being here today at the WGU 2022 commencement in Indianapolis. It is my honor and pleasure to join you today. My name is Annie Jenkins, and I'm born, raised, and reside in the great state of West by God, Virginia. Go herd. <laughs> Renowned author Ben Sweetland once said, Viewing success as a destination gives one the feeling that to reach it, you must ascend over torturous paths and that the journey will be a long and trying one. This, of course, is not true. Success is not a destination. It is a journey. My journey of nursing started over 15 years ago in August of 2007 when I became a licensed practical nurse, but the seed was planted long before that. My father was the first African-American fire lieutenant in the small town of Shepherdstown where I live. He was a lifelong fireman for over 40 years. I watched in awe, thank you. I watched in awe as a little girl as he came home covered in soot and smoke, but always at the ready to face another day. My father was a Korean War veteran and instilled in me the advocacy that I display daily at my current role at the Martinsburg VA Medical Center in West Virginia. My dad was the unofficial mayor of our small town and he knew everyone and everyone knew him. He used to always say, Annie, treat people like family and good will always come back to you. This motto has helped me substantially over my nursing career. My mother grew up in Baltimore in the 50s and was the first person in her family not only to graduate from high school, but to graduate from college and obtain a master's degree. She is a retired school principal and always said, Annie, people can take away material things, but they can't take away your knowledge or your dignity. As an educator, I watched my mom as she tirelessly graded papers, created lesson plans, and purchased school supplies for the low-income children at her school. She never wavered and was always at the ready to help someone else in need. I'm the youngest of three girls, and between myself, mom, and two sisters, we hold over 10 degrees and certifications combined. My mother always told me I had two options after high school, which were these, college or college. <laughs> if it were not for her persistence, encouragement, and yes, nagging, I would not be standing here before you today. From the bottom of my heart, mom, thank you. I remember my first job as an LPN working in a skilled nursing facility. During orientation, we were told to take charge as LPN supervisors on the floor and to make sure that we delegated appropriately. Upon completing, completing orientation and moving to evening shift as a brand new, green, young, very naive nurse, I encountered my first reality of working with and supervising people. I worked on shift with a nursing assistant of over 25 years, Miss Vivian. Miss Vivian was 57 years old at the time, smoked Virginia Slims at every break, and wore her glasses right at the tip of her nose. She could also make a very mean red velvet cake. I remember delegating my first task to Miss Vivian, and I'm not sure if it was my age or the way that I said it, but I remember clearly going to complete that task myself because Miss Vivian told me every which way to go and called me every name but a child of God. <laughs> We worked together for almost four years and grew to build a great relationship. She taught me more than any nurse that I've ever met before, and she knew each resident like the back of her hand. She was the epitome of old school nursing that I will always hold dear to my heart. This moment is not the destination, it is the journey. We've experienced unprecedented times over the past two years, and personally, I've lost over 20 family, friends, coworkers, and former patients to COVID. I'm still standing here today, though, in front of all of you with the resilience, determination, and fight that I have in me to continue moving forward each day. I've also experienced a lot of good, though, over the past two years. I got to start two businesses, got to meet Mr. John Stewart, former host of The Daily Show, and even got to meet the VA secretary. 
I also survived virtual homeschooling with the second grader. I love you, Yanni. <laughs> my family always encouraged me to be better and do better. And this is my challenge to all of you today. Please continue to grow, do, and be better. WGU, WGU has helped me in this pathway, and I'll continue to grow and accept any and all challenges to keep standing tall. I'll leave you with this last statement. As Psalms 30, verse 5 states, Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Let your joy come every morning and keep fighting for good. Thank you all, and congratulations, Night Owls. <laughs>